Pops, you want to blow your pacemaker or something? <laughs> Gee, mister, I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to scare you. Get your hands off of me. Hey, calm down. Get man. away from me. I, I was just trying to help. I don't need your help, you damn little whore. Well, fine. I wouldn't want to help an old creep like you anyway. Damn rotten kids. They'll get what they deserve. Yes. They'll get what they deserve. Tonight. <laughs> Judy! Sorry, Mom. I'm in a hurry. Has Jay Jansen called? Jay? No. Oh, but that boy, Sal, he stopped by to see if you were at home. Sal? Mm -hmm. I'll get it. Hello, Jay? Hey, Judy. You almost ready to go? Um, not quite. I got stuck after school helping Mrs. Evans out with that drive for the homeless. I told you that was a scam. Well, someone has to do it. Yeah. Well, listen, there's been a slight change of plan for tonight. What do you mean? I've got a better party to go to. Does this mean I should find another date for the dance? <laughs> of course not. Hey, I thought you'd be happy to go to a real party. That school dances for nerds. Oh, OK, sure. Why not? Who's giving it? I don't know if you know her. Her name's Angela. Angela? No, the only Angela I know is that weird girl in history class. As a matter of fact. Jay, you've got to be kidding. Angela is such a weirdo. Franny says she's into witchcraft and all sorts of creepy stuff. Come on, you don't believe all that, do you? It's a bunch of crap. She's just a lonely old misfit trying to get some attention by acting weird, that's all. So why in the world would you want to go to her party then? Because it's Halloween. Who do you know that'll give a better party? It's like Christmas to her. Do we have to? Come on, Max and Franny are going. It'll be fun. Oh, all right. I guess so. I can't wait to meet her family. She probably lives in a belfry. Well, it's, it's not at her house. It's at Hall House. Hall House? Jay! Pick you up in 20. I'm going, you'll have to hire someone just to tie your shoes. <laughs> Ow! I'll get it. <laughs> I wish I had a camera. You look like you dropped the load, Junior. Hey, hey, cool it, Squirt. Who do you think you are, Rocky Balboa? Let me go, creep! Sure. I'll go tell that pretty little piece you call your sister that handsome Monk Silas here. I'll tell her I brung my pet snake for her to play with. Judy's getting ready for a date, butthole. If I were you, I'd get out of here before he shows up and turns your ugly face into a punching bag. Well, give me that shit, punk. Go get your sister before I lose my cool. What's matter? You hear what I said, bozo? Let me go. I'll yell for my mom. Oh, uh, go on, baby. What's the matter? You can't take a joke? Now go get your sister. Judy's getting dressed. She's going to a party. Party? What party? Wouldn't you like to know? Oh, you little asshole. Oh, mother. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, spill the beans, eh? Here's a nice chunk of change to loosen your lips a little. Are you kidding? Betray my beloved sister for a measly quarter. What do you think this is? Some kind of depression or something? Oh, that does it. Billy, did you call me? Hey, hey, hey. This is my final offer, kid. Now take it and sing. Where's the friggin' party? Sure. It'll be too chicken to crash it anyway. Hey, try me. It's at Whole House. Whole House? <laughs> what are you trying to pull, shorty? Your sister wouldn't be caught dead in a dump like that. What do you think I am, some kind of idiot or what? What I think is besides the point. Whole house tonight. Better be straight, Billy boy. Or I swear I'm gonna come back here and kick your little ass. <laughs> hey, my mask. Yeah, 
Thanks a lot. Do you guys have sour balls? Why, oh, sure we do. Too bad. I bet you don't get many blowjobs. Oh, you must be Judy's little brother, huh? Uh, you're pretty lucky. She's uh, she's a real nice girl. Yeah, are you dating her for her personality? Because she has big cha-chas. <laughs> well, hello there. Well, you must be Jay. Yeah. Would you like a fudge log? Oh, gee. Yeah, I'd love to, but I'm, I'm trying to watch my weight. Oh, your weight? You must be kidding. You're skinny as a rail. Oh, come on, Jay, don't be shy. Have one. I just took them out of the oven. No, thanks, Mrs. Cassidy, really. You sure? Yeah. Of course he's sure, Ma. Why would he want one? They look like sun-dried poodle turds. Oh, Billy. Why me? Hey, you look great. Yeah, the best bride of Frankenstein I ever saw. Jay, I thought you were going to wear a costume. Well, I was, but he I He is. I... He's the boogeyman. Can't you tell? He's the pick of the litter. Billy, please. Happy Halloween, sweetheart. Um, we better hurry. Uh, yeah, Max and Franny are waiting. Good night, girls. Have a nice time. We're trying to dance. <laughs> God, I'm so embarrassed. My mom and her cereal box recipes. Hey, forget it. Come here. Jay, slow down, okay? You're right. Sure, we've got all night. Come on. Whoever drew up this map must have been half blind and half retarded. It sounds like Angela. Dizzy fucking bitch, man. Dude, you become an asshole of your own free will or were you born that way? <laughs> Did you hear something funny? I don't know why I'm hanging out with your two wives. Give me that damn map. Hey, damn great dude. You gotta look what you've done. Typical. 
Typical. Shut up and drive, bitch. Look here. Turn here. <laughs> Party's a real drag. We can always come back to my house. Here they come. Well, thank God you two have the Halloween spirit. At least I won't be the only one wearing a costume. Oh, I didn't really expect to see Jay in a costume today. Jay's way too cool for that. <laughs> Just get in the car, Max. <laughs> Just great. You know, I always wondered why they called you Stooge. Hey, look! I said I always carry a spare. I never promised you a tire iron. You know, we really must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. No one would give a party out here. Look, we definitely did not take any wrong turns, okay? I know where whole house is. It ain't far from here. So shut up and start walking! Great. Look! Are you fat and dumb? Hey, here comes a car. Must be my good karma. All right, Jay, buddy. You got it just in time, dude. You guys need a hand? We sure do. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I let you guys talk me into this. Shouldn't we at least help them change their tire? For Christ's sake, Judy, it's only a flat tire. I think even Stooge can figure that one out. Hey, there it is. Stop the car. This place was once a funeral parlor, wasn't it? Yeah, biggest one in four counties. A funeral parlor? Way out here? Well, sure, it's nice and cozy, right next to the old cemetery. And rumor has it, old man Hull really loved his clientele. I mean, in the carnal sense. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I once saw a portrait of Mrs. Hull. I've heard stories about this place ever since I was a kid. The Hull family met a pretty gruesome man, didn't they? They sure did. As a matter of fact, it was on Halloween night. One of them went crazy and slaughtered the entire family, then committed suicide. They could never figure out who did it. Too much blood and guts. <laughs> I can't believe we're gonna party here. <sighs> Neither can I. Hell, that was easy. They didn't even lock the gate. Yeah, the county used to keep this place locked up all the time. Only the locks kept disappearing. I guess they finally gave up. Well, it doesn't look like much of a party happening here. Maybe we could still make the dance. Max, what are you doing? I'm just checking out an old legend about this place. Come here. Judy, come here, will ya? Come here, listen. Water. Yeah, an underground stream. According to legend, it completely surrounds the property. This wall was built right on top of it. A brick wall on top of an underground stream? Now oh, there's a stroke of engineering genius. Well, the wall was built to mark the stream. Uh, supposedly the evil spirits that haunt the land can't cross over running water or something. Hey, can we go in now? It's getting kind of chilly out here. Shh. Listen. What? I don't hear anything. That's what I mean. Isn't it quiet? Not even the crickets will come to this property. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Max. Ugh. Oof. Somebody fired.
fire the maid. Yeah, somebody did. The whole family maid was killed along with the rest of them. Someone managed to roast her. Great. Barbecue maid. I wonder if she can keep the place clean. Can we go home now? I guess not. Hey, you guys, check this out. Oh, my God. This must have been left here by our previous tenants. Okay, everybody hide, quick. Get rid of your light. Jay! Come on, this is gonna be great, just relax. <laughs> you dirtbag. Jay, no! Hey, whose side are you on? Whose side am I on? You're acting like an idiot. You were just about to climb in there and scare somebody else. Now you're gonna punch out Sal just because he beat you to it? Yeah, yeah. Lighten up, Jaybo. It's Halloween. Good evening. Allow me to introduce myself. Yeah, Count Dingleberry, the flaming asshole of Transylvania. Uh, -uh what's the matter, Maxie, baby? You pissed because I made you lose your brewski? Hey, Angela didn't tell me that this asshole was invited. He wasn't. All right, dudes. And you Oh, Let's party! <laughs> Hey, Sal, what do you want this? Hello, Sal, come in, Sal. Earth to Sal. Hey, yo. Hey, straight, where are we gonna put this thing, man? Always a fucking time. It was a quarter to nine and I was running late. I was hoping I could find a cab at the stand. It was my first time out on my computer day. And I was looking forward to whatever she might have planned. The computer dating service people. Lying there. We would want the spirits to see you littering up their place. Would we now? I'm sure they'll make a feather cake out of it. Oh, have it your way. She said, Never I make it. I stereotape it so later we can hear us back. Oh, this feels great. <laughs> uh. Just what the doctor ordered. What the Wicked Witch of the West want? She's trying to scare you. Of course. So, did she do it? Are you kidding? I'm not a baby. That's a spirit. Here, Max. This ought to cool you down a little. Thanks, babe. Oh, how sweet. Four fucking hours! All right. Woo! I found it in my mother's closet. She used to be an acid head. Whoa! And now we're cooking it up. Holy shit. Haven't you really ever heard of Duracell? Hey, look, don't blame me, man. I just put batteries in a damn thing this morning. <laughs> I can't live without my music. 
Forget it. There's plenty of time for dancing later. Now it's time for party games. Yeah. We can play post office and you can be the stamp. <laughs> oh, please don't make me ill. I was thinking of something a bit more in tune with the holiday. Like what? Bobbing for apples with razor blades in them? <laughs> no. I was thinking more along the lines of a seance. A seance? Isn't that a little chancy? I mean, this is Halloween, the night when all the creepy things are supposed to stalk the earth. I mean, there's no telling what we'll dredge up, especially in this old place. Hey, you guys, how about a past life seance? A what? A past life seance. You know, we all sit around, look in a mirror, and see our past lives. What kind of drugs are we gonna need for this? <laughs> cool. Will this do? I'm afraid not, Suzanne. We need one we can all look into at once. What the hell was that? I don't know, buddy. Let's go check it out. Hey, hey, Stu, take me a cut out now. Oh, come on, Raj. Now, don't be afraid. I'm not with you, man. Hey, I guess this was my friend, man. Come on, Raj. Be a man. No, Stu. Yes, Raj. No. What's the matter, Raj? You're white as a ghost. <laughs> hey, kids. You're not gonna believe what I found in here. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. <laughs> I can't believe our luck. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. No, don't tell me you're afraid too. <laughs> oh, come on. It's just a mirror. What harm can it do? It's really very simple. You just keep staring at my reflection in the mirror until the glass clouds up all black. When it clears, we'll see what I look like in a past life. Sounds easy enough to me. Yeah, right. And if you buy that, I got this real nifty bridge to sell you. <laughs> Everybody shut up. Now concentrate on my reflection in the mirror. Concentrate. I'm trying to Ange, but I can't get past that zit on your chin. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, asshole. If you're not gonna help us along, then get lost. Okay, now concentrate. 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 Holy shit! It was just starting to work. It was, I swear I saw the mirror turning black. Hey, I, I saw too. Yeah, I saw too. It's just sound, that stupid mask. I wasn't wearing my mask. Oh, God, that's even worse. Oh. It doesn't matter what she saw, does it? If she saw anything, it looks like our little game is over. Yeah, I just hope Helen didn't piss off the owner of the mirror. Ow, it's only kidding. Oh, no. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, relax. It's probably just someone arriving late. You guys did invite some other people to this party. Hmm. Angela? Some cute boys, I hope. It sounds like it's coming from the basement.
Pete. Oh, Pete, you. That is great. Stooge must be wearing his mom's dirty panties again. <laughs> hey, man, this small lady wears panties. This is where the coin changers and sailors. <laughs> Your mom couldn't give it away. Oh, God, man, it feels like somebody died. <laughs> like what's happening here. What do you mean? I know what she means. Like, come on, this ain't exactly the most happening party I've ever been to, okay? Yeah. What do you mean, Angela? Those noises that we heard, there were three of them. And that awful stink. And then the chill. It's not cold now. It must have been a drop. Well, maybe somebody did come in. The odor's gone, too. But we all experienced them. The noise, the stink, and the chill. They're all signs of demonic infestation. Demonic what? Demonic whatchamacallit! I mean, come on! A little Ange here is just trying to put the old hula hula boog on us, okay? <laughs> yeah, Ange, I'm sure you're right, okay? Or could it be that Raj here just had too much cold beer and blew us a cool, stiff breeze right out of his butthole? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you all think. My daddy was a preacher. And I know better than to be in here fooling with this stuff. This is a house of the dead. And I'm getting out now before it's too late. Wow. Hey, take a look for that. What is that? It smells like roses. Hey, you know, I think we're smelling multiple ghosts here. I've read about things like this. Hey, there's something, Max. I never knew you could read. <laughs> no, really, Stooge, I'm not kidding. I read all the time. Would you listen to me? They're not ghosts. This house is not haunted. It's possessed. <laughs> possessed, man. Haunted? Come on. Who gives a shit? What's the difference between possessed and haunted? A haunted house is a house with ghosts in it. The spirits of people who've died. But the spirits living in a house possessed have never existed in human form. They've only existed in spirit form. They're pure evil. They're demons. Kids, <laughs> come on! You can't really believe this place is possessed. <laughs> nah, just repossessed. possessed <laughs> 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 yes. For tonight, anyway. Maybe Roger's right. Maybe we should leave. Oh, come on, let's hang out. Yeah, eat a bowl of fuck. <laughs> I am here to party. Yeah. Me too. Just because one lame wuss wants to bail doesn't mean we ace this party. I want to go too. We'll need a ride. <laughs> hey, don't look at me, pal. My crews are sitting in a ditch two miles from here, huh? Hey, you know, you could spend the night in it, though, if you wanted to. Ooh! <laughs> Here, Raj, take Angie's car. Hey, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Chill do out, hun. It's your party. You ain't going anywhere. Thanks, Suzanne. Don't mention it. I don't care if you're a chicken shit. Just remember to open the gate before you drive through it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Raj. Drive carefully, you guys. Let's party. Yeah. Well, you guys can count us out. Judy and I have some exploring to do. Yeah, great idea. Let's see what kind of action we can dig up in this glorious old dump, huh, Judy? I don't know, Jay. Oh, come on, Judy. Who knows? Maybe we'll be able to find a little privacy. Hey, we'll check you guys out later. Don't do anything stupid while we're gone, huh? Yeah, right. Y'all say hi to Casper for me. <laughs> well... This party's getting down to the cream now. I think I'm gonna go find the bathroom. Ooh, good idea. I'll go too to protect you. Oh, no thanks. I'd rather take Stooge. Stooge? Hey, you heard of the lady, man? She wants real man gardener charm. But Stooge is a fat pig. Maybe I'm in the mood for pork tonight. <laughs>
I'm into all sorts of things tonight. <laughs> I'll tell you what, babe. I'll hold yours if you hold mine. I don't fucking believe it. You know what? This reminds me of a great story. You know, I think we've heard enough stories for one night. No, come on, let's hear it. All right, only because you asked. Oh, God, this one better be it, or I'm going to water them all away. No, try this one. What? How did you know this? Ladies before germs. <laughs> no, wait, um. I thought, well, I thought maybe we, we might could go in there together, huh? Chicken party. Yeah, but even before the first white settlers colonized this area, this strip of land already had a bad rep. Sure, Max. Mm. For centuries, the ancient Indian tribes that used to live around this area would never set foot on this side of the underground creek. Even back then, they said the land was unclean. Right, Max. And I suppose the ghost of an ancient Indian told you that. <laughs> no. Mrs. Porter down at the library gave me a book that one of the earlier settlers wrote. I mean, you cannot believe all the cool shit they used to go down here. Yeah, especially since they didn't have any indoor plumbing, right? <laughs> no, really. A young brave got lost and settled here with his family by mistake. Anyway, they found him three weeks later, sitting under a teepee he made out of his squaw's intestines and chewing on the leg of his papoose. Oh, gross! I've never heard so many disgusting stories in all my life. <sighs> Oh, um, you know, I, I you think it's time that, you know, Franny and I did some exploring on our own. Happy honey. Happy honey. Yeah, this place is big enough. I'm sure we'll find something interesting to do, right? <laughs> interesting to do. Well, Alice, looks like we're all alone in Wonderland. Who gives? Not here, Jay. What do you mean, not here? This place, it's, it's too creepy. Well, that's the whole idea. You're supposed to be jumping into my arms. Just hold me. Where the fuck is the goddamn gate? We came in through a gate, didn't we? This just doesn't make sense. Give up already. Give up! Now, what kind of talk is that? There was a gate here. And if we just keep following this damn wall, we're bound to find it. Look, we've already been around it twice. Don't you understand, Raj? We're dead. We've all died and gone to hell. What are you talking about? Are you going crazy on me, girl? Look, if that's all that's on your mind, you just better shut that mouth of yours. Shit. Hell, my ass. There is a gate here. There is. Helen? Helen! This isn't funny, girl! Helen? 
Where the hell did she go? Judy, come on. Quit the act. I know you've done this before. What? I saw the way you jumped to Sal's aid. Jay, what are you getting at? I know all about you two. Oh, really? What do you know? Nothing. I just know that you used to date Sal, that's all. Date him? I went out with him once. Once is all it takes. I don't understand why you're acting like this. Half the school knows about you and Sal, so what's the big deal? Oh, so you think I slept with Sal just because I went out with him? Didn't you? You know, that's none of your business. So that's why you wanted to go out with me. Oh, come on. I thought you wanted it just as much as I did. There's that. Fine. Have it your way. I'm out of here. Jay! Wait! Come on, Jay! Jay! What the fuck are you doing over there? Blessed be the sinners, for the Day of Atonement is at hand. Say what?
She's acting really fucking weird. Don't worry, Sal. It ain't the weird ones you gotta watch out for. God, didn't your mom teach you nothing about women? Too. What is everybody here on drugs or something? You know, you're a sweet looking babe, Suzanne, but you and your friend Ange are just a little too weirdo for me. I can't seem to get it right. No thanks, honey. I'm not that type of guy. Good night now. I'm going home. You are home, Sal. Uh uh. This dirty dive don't spell home to me. I live in a nice house, you know, with plastic slipcovers on the furniture. Enjoy your lipstick, doll face. Good night. Stuff is still here. 
It's creepy in here. Don't worry. I'll protect you. And who's going to protect you? <laughs> you know, I've never made it in a coffin before. Me neither. So what are we waiting for? That's not a bad paint job, but I think that it needs a little touching up. Hey, when did the lights go on? Okay, forget the lights. Hey, Ange, I'm splitting. I was just warming my hands in the fire. Holy shit! Leaving so soon. I know that's you, man. Only a fat slob like you could shake this car so much. Suzanne, your makeup is fine. Come on, what are you worried about? Ah! Jeez! Christ! Stop looking at me! Ah! Damn it! What was that? Uh, 
Oh, just more party games. Ow, Max, I don't bend that way. Ah, shit. Damn it, this is worse than my brother's V-dub. <sighs> hey, man, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> no! No! No, holy shit! No, Stooge! No, Stooge! No! No, no! shit going on around here. Something happened to Helen. What do you mean? I don't know, man. I don't know. Hey, 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 hey. It's going to be okay, know. man. It's going to be okay, man. We're going to get out of here, man. It's, we're going to get out of here. We're going to get out of about an orgy. I'm sure if we try, we can get Jay hard again. Run, Judy! Run, Judy, run! <laughs> Judy, run! See, Judy, run! 
shift no wonder why there weren't any boards on the window can't get the fuck out of here thank heaven for water pipes
Judy! Judy! Judy, look out! Enjoying the view. Judy! <laughs> Come on, Judy. Yeah, come on, just a little further. I can't do it. Yes, you can. Come on, woman, do it. Don't look down, girl. home. God, Judy, hurry up. You're right. Yeah, I, I think so. Don't tell me you're leaving. Sal wanted to go, but he decided to stick around. the door. Look, Raj. Maybe we can get out. The door? Yeah, look. Judy, wait. Don't. We can't wait, Raj. We gotta try. There's no other way out. First, let's pray. My daddy, he told me how to pray real good. Come on. I've been praying all night, Raj. We gotta go now.
What's wrong? It's an oven. What? It's an oven, Raj. This is a crematorium. <laughs> said, Raj, didn't she say that tonight's a special night of evil? Remember? Didn't she say that tonight's the one night of the year when all things unclean are free to roam among us? Remember? That's what she said, Raj, right? I think if we just hang out here until, until dawn, we'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I bet you're right. Judy. God, no. I warned you this house was possessed, didn't I? We can't let him get us, Raj. We can't give up, Raj. We've got to find a weapon. The pipe. <laughs> Get out! We can't get out! Roger!
Don't you think you're plenty dead?
peg trash. Been out all night, huh? Ah, they'll all rot in hell. <laughs> Kids. Good morning, dear. Yeah? Not so good about it. You better drink your coffee before it gets cold. Is it good, dear? Nah, it's okay. Just okay? You used to love my homemade pies. Homemade? When did you make this? I've been up for hours, sleepyhead. I made it while you were getting your beauty rest. Last night? There weren't as many trick-or-treaters last night. Not like the good old days. I had to do something with all those leftover apples. I still can't understand why you buy so many. Halloween, dear. 